37 years is a long time to have to spend behind bars and think about how you ended somebody else's life. Relief. That's what one Wabash Valley family says it's feeling after a nearly five year long murder case comes to a close. Good afternoon to you. I'm Susan Dinkle. It's Monday, September 30th. Connor Scott will spend the next 37 years behind bars. That's after pleading guilty to the 2014 first degree murder of Kaylin Whitaker. News 10's Jada Huddleston was in the courtroom this morning. In this afternoon's top story, she joins us now with more details about Connor Scott's sentencing and how Kaylin's family is moving forward. Jada. Susie, it was an emotional morning at the Clark County Courthouse. Dozens gathered for the sentencing of Connor Scott. He'll spend the next 37 years behind bars. Kaylin's mother, Leslie Roberts, gave a powerful victim impact statement in front of the court. I spoke with Roberts after the hearing. She says this is a weight lifted off her family's shoulders. After nearly five years, the 2014 murder case of Kaylin Whitaker has come to a close. Connor Scott was charged in connection to his girlfriend's death. He confessed to her murder earlier this year. Kaylin's mother, Leslie Roberts, addressed the court on Monday. She says she was feeling a mix of emotions while reading her victim impact statement. I was angry when I was reading it because it's a long time coming. Uh, people needed to hear my impact statement and um, I believe it was definitely from, from Kay, from her heart. It was something definitely Kaylin would want everybody to hear. The family says they would have liked to see Scott serve more time, but they're at peace with the decision. I don't think we'll ever um, feel like justice has been totally served with our situation because the loss of Kaylin is immeasurable. I mean, she, it, we just, we miss her so much. We hurt for her every day. It is so hard being without her. After the hearing, family and friends gathered outside the courthouse lawn for a balloon release. Everyone wrote a special message to Kaylin before releasing their balloons. Robert says her balloon message from the movie The Notebook has a special meaning to it. One day we were watching the movie and she looked over at me and she says, Mom, fear a bird. And I looked over at her and I said, I'm a bird. So the balloon release was very, very special and it, it was just to honor Kaylin. This was a very difficult day for everyone involved. Robert says it's family and friends that make it all a little bit easier. Kaylin would be so grateful that we've got the family, her friends, and all the love that everybody has, has surrounded us with. Scott is not eligible for early release, meaning he will serve the full 37 years. After that, he'll spend three years on parole. He will receive credit for time served. Now, coming up at the top of the hour, you'll hear how Roberts and their family looks to move forward. Back to you.